Welcome back to another episode of the SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today's level is World 3, Level 2, and we have a lot to learn, so let's not waste any time. First thing I'm going to do is go through all the ways you can learn this level. Starting with the hard way, and then we're going to work our way to the easy way, following with all the little things to look out for, all the little knickknacks. You want to start by holding B and left when you enter the stage. You're going to be doing this to let the elevator reach this point. The reason we hold left and not just stand there is because we want to use as much ground as we can to build P-Speed. Whenever you hold left upon entering a stage, you'll actually start a little bit more to the left than if you were to press nothing upon entering the stage. I cover this in World 2 Level 1. As soon as the elevator reaches that point, you'll want to start running until you reach this line. You'll want to do a very small tap jump and land as close to the edge of the elevator as you can. Once you're on the elevator, you'll want to use as much ground on the elevator as you can as well. We do this entire process because we want to use the opposite force of the elevator to build P-Speed more and then medium jump to the donuts. If done correctly, P-Meter will be building once you're on the donuts. You'll now build P-Speed on the last donut and do a medium jump to the next two bushes and from there you'll want to do a full big jump to the second question block. This next part gets a little annoying. Depending on how fast or slow you built P-Speed will determine where the fish is that you land on when you jump off the second question block. Here, let me show you. The visual cue for this jump will be over this little Danish clown. You'll always want to go over the Danish cloud, but how much over? Well, if you notice you built P-Speed at a good pace, you won't need to go over the cloud very much. But if you took a little while to build P-Speed, then you'll have to go a far way over the Danish cloud. Fast will be a medium jump, slower will be a big jump. Let's take a look. Do a full big jump off the fish and land on the next platform. These next two jumps are the hardest. From the center of the brown platform, you'll want to do a small slash medium jump onto the second fish. And from that fish, you'll want to do another small slash medium jump to the next fish. And from that fish, you do another medium or you could do a big jump, as long as you don't rub into the blocks. Keep in mind though, if you start these sequence of jumps not in the middle of the brown platform, your style of jumps will change and vary. Try and be in the middle of the platform every time. Use the three last blocks or just the midway point of the horizontal blocks you're running on to jump up and shoot a fireball at the piranha plant. Since Mario is faster than the fireballs, you'll need to do a turn back to let the fire hit the plant hold down and enter the pipe. You can jump twice and go up, or you can just walk and jump up. The random fish will never be in your way, so just run and rebuild P-Speed and hit the card. Doesn't this all sound so easy? None of this level is easy. With that being said, let's teach you the easy way. Start the level normally with holding B and forward. Run close to the edge and small jump on the elevator. From there, do a full big jump onto the donut blocks and run to the edge and do another full big jump to reach the two plants. Then do a medium jump to land on the first question block, run off that block, and you'll land on the turtle. Hold A before landing on the turtle and do a medium jump to the next question block. Once on the second question block, do a small slash medium jump just coming short of the Danish cloud, this time to land in front of the fish. Small jump out of the water onto the fish and do the biggest jump you can. Do a duck jump onto the brown platform to avoid bonking your head. Position yourself to land on the same fish we landed on with P-Speed, but this time make sure you do a quick turn back before you land on the fish or you'll run the risk of going right through them. And from there to the end sequence is the same, except this time you don't have to turn back while waiting for the fireball to hit the piranha plant. Now let's go through the level and see what it looks like if you try and build P-Speed, but it doesn't work. So you're trying to build P-Speed and you do all the jumps, but you don't build P-Speed by the time you reach the end of the donuts. Do the same jumps as you would if you weren't trying to get P-Speed. From the bushes, land on the first question block. Run off to land on the turtle to get to the next question block. This is the only difference right here between the other two. From this second question block, you'll want to do a full big jump and once you land in the water, jump as soon as you can out of the water with another big jump. You'll land on the fish in front of you and do a medium jump onto the donuts. 
and from here, everything is the same as if you didn't try for your P speed. Of course, we have to see the difference in all the ways now. Let's take a look. Thanks for watching episode 16. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, don't be afraid to tap that subscribe button to know when episode 17 comes out. We will be doing World 3, Level 3. Also, if you would like to see some live action world record attempts, I stream every day on Twitch in the evenings. All links are in the description below. Thanks guys. See ya!